Hi, this is Justin from AC Hamilton in Preston. Uh, I've been here, well, forever really. And so I've played hundreds and hundreds of digital pianos and acoustic pianos over the years. And this, I can honestly say, is unlike any other digital piano I've ever played, both in the look, in the feel, in the sound, in the playability, and in the features. Uh, well, fantastic smart pianist app that you can look at online. So let's take a closer look at this, this great new piano. Okay, so let's talk about the look of the piano. Obviously the goal is, does it look like a real piano? Absolutely it does. So we've got a, you know, the nice height compared to a normal digital piano, the depth, uh, the design of the end panels, uh, the detail that Yamaha have gone in to making this appear exactly as an acoustic piano. So we have the nice soft closed lid here this is only on the CLP 785, the, the 775 just has a sliding key cover, just not quite as authentic uh, as the uh, the regular lid as you would see on an acoustic piano. Nice full length music rest, or a very good size music rest with the four little clips. We can have our four sheets of A4, or, so four sheets of A4 nicely on there. Uh, another great little feature now on this one is that all the the wonderful advantages of the digital piano with all the, the lessons, the tuition and the features with the Bluetooth that you'll discover on this piano are all subtly hidden away so you know the, the piano can be on but the screen isn't lit so you just have this nice touch panel which will come on so you can use the features as and when you need to uh, but you can still play the piano the screen will disappear as it has done now and uh, and finally just to demonstrate the soft closed lid of the proper Yamaha logo here there we go so a fantastic job with the detail have they have done with the detail of the entire piano including the sound and the playability which we'll go on to the detail that's gone into uh, the appearance of this CLP 785 is fantastic also available in the satin black finish as well and finally let's just compare this to a regular upright piano and just let's see how close they really have come and uh, you can imagine if this was in uh, and I apologize about the environment but we are a shop so if you imagine this in a in a nice living room setting it really would look like a classy upright piano.
Okay, so the next really important thing is the feel and the playability of the piano. Now at this stage I'm conscious that people watching this you know, might not actually be piano players themselves, they're buying it for somebody else. I don't want to go in too much technical detail. There's lots of great uh, detail on our website of the CLP 785. I do encourage you to, to have a look at that. But what I noticed when I played this piano for the first time was just the level of playability uh, was unlike anything we've had on previous digital pianos. You know, Yamaha have been making these for many, many, many years and over years got better and better and better. But this just really is another level. Um, what I noticed, uh, one thing that I really noticed was the delicacy of the, the touch and the control you had at low volumes and also the the repetition so how you could play you know quickly and the key return is very quick and very precise and uh, and uh, a lot of that is due to the counterweights so the counterweights is, is something that is on the CLP 785 and it really does make a big difference into the response the feel the playability of the piano so just a few more things on the, the feel and playability. So the surface of the key is like a non-slip synthetic ivory finish, so it's nice to play. Uh, the fact that the keys are actually a wooden construction using appropriate wood. And the linear graded action, so that means every key is gonna feel uh, slightly different as it would do on a real grand piano. Uh, another one that I noticed was uh, with a digital piano, as you play, put your hand through to the back of the key, you can feel there's just not the same amount of control as you get on a real piano. But on this one, because, I mean, you can see these details on the website, where the pivot point is, uh, it means that you have the full control even when you play towards the back of the key. So that's just a subtle point uh, how this is better than uh, previous digital pianos. Okay, let's talk about the sound. So this is another area where just like the feel and the touch, it's less like a digital piano and more like an actual living and breathing instrument. And uh, one of the reasons for that is the cabinet. So when you play a real piano, it's the resonance of the cabinet, uh, damp resonance, cabinet resonance, string, string resonance, all of these vibrations that make you feel like you're playing a real instrument. And all of those things are happening on the CLP 785. So two of the features that help make this a living, breathing, real instrument, uh, I encourage you to look at this on the specifications on the website, is the spruce cone speaker and the transducers, which give the, the cabinet the resonance of a real piano. Okay, so now let's come to the digital features. So I left this to the last because I wanted to show first and foremost how good this is as a piano, as a living, breathing instrument, how good it looks as a piano. So hopefully we've achieved that so far. So now let's come and have a look at these wonderful features on this digital system here. Okay, so just touch anywhere in this panel. Immediately the screen comes up and display comes up with the main two choices of CFX Grand, Yamaha Grand Piano and the Bozeman Dolphin. These are the two that most people will use most of the time. But if you want to look at the different voices, just press voice. Then you've got all the different categories of voices here. And then if you want to look within that category, you just click to the right and then you've got all the voices within that category. 
The forte piano, that's quite interesting. You've got Scarlatti, Mozart, Beethoven and Chopin, all authentically voiced to uh, how they would be back in those times. Uh, if you want to mix two sounds together, you just press the uh, you just press the dual. So now you can see you've got the Bosendorfer accompanied by the string section, and also you can split. So now we've got the Bosendorfer piano, but with like an acoustic double bass sound in the left hand, which is quite nice. You get a split point. Play your left hand below that split point. You get a bass in your left, piano in your right. Probably what most people will be interested the most is the tuition side which is amazing so you have 50 classical pieces of music here all of these can be practiced just your right hand or just the left hand they can all be viewed in full score format on such as an iPad using the amazing Yamaha smart pianist app so you've got the 50 classical pieces there and then this lesson section so this is more graded this is uh, probably uh, going to be the biggest benefit so there's just a tremendous amount of content here so because within each category there's umpteen if that's a proper word lessons effectively so you, you're able to achieve the first one and move on to the next level and it really gets the kids you know you, you get you got to get to that next level like you would on a video game and then again you can play right hand left hand and it can be viewed on the tablet you can just sit your tablet on the music rest mm -hmm. 